Okay, Glenn here from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Okay, I got a second video here. I deleted my first one, and I got a second video here. And this is for the Works um, Landroid WG794E. And this is my second season mowing with this mower. And I wanted to show you. Um, okay, first off, what I did was when I first ran the first year, I pegged the wire above the ground. I had to buy more because I didn't have enough. They only give you 200 with it, and it may not be enough. Um, I got some off of eBay from a guy in Germany. Got them out to me quick, and I was able to... So I got a total of like 400 stakes now, and I was able to stake this thing down. Um, and I used it all last year, but I had a problem in the wintertime. My snowblower caught the wire and ripped it out and tore it in half, and so it needed some work. So this year, I took the wire out of the ground. I had a new wire to put down, and I buried the wire in the ground completely around the yard. And it's working great, so I won't have no more problems with snowblower catching it. All right, so what I want to show you what's new is I updated my mower. If you go to works.com and go to their website, you can update the mower, find the Landroid on the works web um, on the mower section, go to mowers, find the Landroid, and when you go into the Landroid, scroll down to the very bottom of the page, and there'll be like three tabs. Click on the one that says Fax, and that's got three different downloads, and I took the very top one. There's a version 2, the third one's a version 2, and so this mower here, I don't, it, I did the, the very top one, the first one, and it worked fine. This mower was on version um, 0 0.92, and now it's on version 0 0.94, and I'll show you the difference. I wish I had a picture of last year's, but I don't. Um, this is what they've had, and if you can see this, I don't know how you can see this or not, but, um, okay, right here, you can see the days of the week right here, you know, Monday through Sunday. Um, they've added that, as well as the time that's set to go out and mow. Those are two new things that were added to this. Um, oh, and that shows the uh, the date right there, right above it. It shows the time. Make sure your time and date is... Oh, okay, so it's right here. It shows the time underneath is where it's set to go out and mow. The above it's the date, and over here is the time. Those are two new things that were added to it, as well as something else. Oh, and here's your adjustment for the height of your blades. And I've got it set to three inches, along with my regular mower set to three inches. Because you will need a regular mower um, to do the outside of the boundary wire. Because you can't put this tight up against your house or any object that has to stay away from it. They give you a cardboard cutout of a um, um, yardstick. It's, and it's, I think it's up to like 16 inches or something like that. They want the mower, the boundary wire, 14 inches off of your house or anywhere where it's going to navigate around it or go close to it. You can go within 14 inches and really no more than that, so make sure you stick to that. Um, all right, so let me just show you here. Um, all right, in the old version, when you used to turn the mower on, it would go out and mow. It would first start moving for about mm, maybe 12 inches. It would stop. Well, when the mower first came on, it would, it would slowly beep several times. And then it would stop moving. Then it would stop after about 12 inches or so or a little less. It would, then you'd hear the mowing deck come on. The blade would start turning. And it would stop moving in and start mowing. Well, now with the new software update, it now does some rapid beeping. The blades come on, then it starts mowing. So I do like that better. All right, so I'll show you real quick here. Because my mower's going to be doing some mowing anyways. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And then as you can see right here, it's telling me to close window to start. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and listen for the beeps. You'll hear this rapid series of beeps. And then it's going to uh, mow and deck will come on and it'll start mowing. Okay? Oh, okay. Here we go. Hear that? Now the mower's going, the blades come on, now it's mowing. All right, now keep in mind... Um, you might see some reviews on this thing, but they didn't like it because it, when it gets into like, all right, say I got a decent backyard here, the grass is pretty, pretty decent. It doesn't have a lot of hills and bumps in it. It is a hill, but it doesn't have divots and holes in it where it's going to screw it up. Anywhere where the mower gets into where it's got, you know, um, my front yard's really bad and I got some other spots, it'll get into that and it can screw it up. And it has a hard time. It might get stuck there and it might have a hard time navigating it to go forward because the front tires are getting stuck in that hole and won't allow it to move. 
So um, what I'd recommend doing is maybe just getting some dirt and filling and plant some grass there and see if you can get rid of those. I'm going to level this whole yard. i got a landscape that's going to come in, and I'm going to flatten this whole yard. So it's not going to be on a hill anymore, and I'm going to put sod down for grass. And I'm going to have a really nice lawn that this mow is going to, you know, take care of. Okay, now here it goes. Now watch, see, this is a problem people complain about too. It gets over here to the charging station coming out when it's backing out of it. It'll get in there and get stuck. Well, if you notice right here, it's got the handle for carrying it with. That's part of the reason, plus this on either side, it's got a little ridge right here, and it's getting caught on that. There is a new Works WG795E, which the charging base is all completely flat. There's no handle, there's no, on either side, no ridge right there. Completely flat, and it's just got a place where, it, where as you can see, the two metal things right there were charges. It goes up underneath it. It, the new one kind of curves and covers those, and then the mower just comes up and docks itself into it. I know why they did these ridges right here, because they wanted it to guide the mower in to charge it. The new one doesn't have that. All right, so there's my mower charging now for its second season. Like I said, I buried the wire in the ground, and so it's all set. All right, I just want to show you guys that. All right, see you, everybody.